Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to look at the exam blueprint. So we all wanna pass our Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. And before we actually get started learning about AWS, it's worth going through the exam blueprint, which will cover what it is we need to know in order to pass our exams. So the exams are 130 minutes in length. You're gonna have about 60 questions. Sometimes this can change, but hopefully it will never be more than 60. Uh, and they're all going to be multiple choice. Sometimes you have to choose one answer, sometimes you have to choose two, it'll tell you in the question how many you have to choose. And your results are always going to be uh, between 100 to 1000 and your pass mark is 720. So you need to get a roughly about 70% in order to pass the exam. So always aim for 70%. The qualification itself is valid for two years and the exam questions are all going to be uh, scenario based questions. So bear that in mind as well. They're never going to ask you, you know, what is the name of simple storage service, uh, which is S3, which you're going to learn as we go forward. They're going to give you much more advanced scenario questions and ask you about different use cases. So let's go over and have a look at how we can book our exams on the AWS website. Okay, so here I am in Google and I'm going to type into uh, Google just AWS Certified Solutions Architect and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Make sure you click on the top organic link. Please do not click on my own uh, adverts because you'll cost me money. Um, but you'll see the top organic link is going to be aws.amazon.com. So we go ahead and click on there you'll be able to see an overview of the exam. Uh, it does say down here that you should have one year's hands-on experience. Don't worry about that. We assume that you know nothing uh, in, in doing this course and that you never even logged into AWS before. And we're gonna give you all the tools and knowledge that you need to know in order to pass your exam. So down here, we've got everything we just covered. It's multiple choice and multiple answer questions. If you do need to choose more than one answer, it will tell you. 130 minutes to complete the exam. Uh, the exam registration fee is gonna be 150 US uh, dollars and the exam's available in a whole bunch of different languages. And you see down here, it says ready to get started, schedule an exam at aws.training. So we'll go ahead and click on aws.training. If it doesn't do anything, you do need to enable uh, pop-ups. I don't know why it uh, does that, but let's go ahead and just uh, open up aws.training. Now in here, you need to create your AWS certification account. When you do create this, you may wanna use your work email address if you're going to link this back to your organization, or if you want some more flexibility, you might wanna use your own personal address, it's, it's up to you. Um, but what you wanna do is just go ahead and click here, AWS certification account, and then you want to either um, sign in, and if you don't have an account, you can create one just by clicking the sign in button, and it will take you to this landing page, and you just need to either create uh, add your email in there and if you don't have an account go ahead and create it now so I've gone ahead and signed into my account you'll see it's the AWS training and certification landing page and in here you've got the ability to schedule a new exam and down here you'll be able to see your recent activities uh, and you can actually go over to and see your previous exams you'll see how many exams I've done since uh, teaching AWS I've done an awful lot uh, and I haven't passed everything I have failed some other ones um, sometimes they're practice exams sometimes they were beta when they first came out um, in fact these two ones that I had did fail were the beta exams but I went on to pass them later on um, so you are in really good hands I do know what I'm doing I've passed an awful lot of AWS exams once you have passed your exams you're going to get digital badges digital badges are badges that you can use in your signature uh, the more exams you pass the more badges you get uh, and you'll be able to also go in here and click on benefits and you'll be able to order certain things from the store depending on what exams that you have passed. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we can book our exams. If we click on home, we'll go ahead to schedule new exam. This will actually open up a new web page, which is the PSI exams web page. Uh, and in here, you'll be able to go and schedule your exams. When you are scheduling your exams, make sure you read them carefully. Make sure that it is, um, you might get two options like here I've got the DevOps Engineer Professional Beta. I don't know if it's going to let me see the other DevOps Professional because I've only recently just passed that. Um, sometimes it will take a little while before you can reset the same, uh, same exam again. Uh, but here you can see AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional. So this is the standard exam. This is the beta exam. So do just make sure that you choose the one that uh, is most relevant to you. For me, it would be AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate and that's what you want to find in there. And then all you need to do is go ahead and schedule your exam. And that's 
is it. It's pretty straightforward. So now that you know how to schedule your exam, you're ready to move on to the next section of the course. In the next section, we're just going to have a high level overview of AWS. Some exam questions are simply understanding what a service is, what its use case is. Uh, so the next uh, section of the course is going to give you a high level overview of every single service in the AWS console. After that section of the course, we're going to start getting our hands dirty. We're going to start learning about identity access management. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next section of the course. Thank you.